We're going to discuss condensation polymerization. So the first thing we need to understand is what is a polymer. A polymer is a large macromolecule. It's a very, very large molecule that has, uh, it's a very, very long chain molecule which is formed when, you, when many small monomers or single repeated units, monomers, join together in a repeated fashion. Now what is a monomer? A monomer is a simple molecule which can join together in a repeated fashion forming a polymer. What the basic idea of a polymer is that you're going to have these uh, small molecules, so you have these small repeating molecules. Most of the time they're the same molecules, but they could be different as well. So you have all these tiny molecules and what would happen to them when polymerization occurs is that they would all join together. So if you uh, look at the, at the molecule uh, over here, you would see that all of them have linked together so so this over here is your is your polymer because all these small tiny molecules they ended up joining together and they ended up forming a very very large molecule uh, where all the different small units are bonded to each other Another thing that we need to understand is what is meant by the term condensation. Now condensation a reaction is any reaction in which uh, two molecules join together. So if there are two molecules, for example over here you have these small monomers, small molecules that are all uh, joining together. So a condensation reaction is in which two molecules or more than two molecules they join together but in the process they produce water as a byproduct so uh, during polymerization every time this, when uh, two molecules join together a water molecule would be would be produced so whenever these two molecules are joining together each time a water molecule would be produced and we are going to later see by examples when we study polymerization in detail whenever two molecules join together a water molecule would be produced every time so this is what condensation polymerization uh, basic idea of condensation polymerization is. Now I'm going to discuss the types of condensation uh, polymers. There are three broadly defined condensation polymers that you're going to study in all levels. Number one, uh, the number one is called polyesters. So you have polyesters. Now a few examples of polyesters is that uh, tetylene is one example of a polyester. Terylene is used uh, in as in fabrics in in cloth making. So you have uh, terylene as an example. Then you have another polymer which is uh, called uh, polyamide. It's also a form of condensation polymer. A water molecule is always produced when a condensation polymer is formed. So you have um, polyamides as a second example. Now. Uh, the different types of polyamides, for example, you have synthetic uh, polyamides which are nylon, uh, you have Kevlar, nylon is used uh, in, uh, in fishing nets, it's also, it's also used in ropes, so you have uh, nylon, nylon has, a lot, has lots of uses, you have Kevlar which is used in, in bulletproof jackets, so you have bulletproof jackets made out of polyamides polyamides are generally stronger they're tougher uh, one natural polymer a polyamide is protein so protein is a natural polymer protein which is um, made out of uh, out of uh, amino acids so proteins are made out of amino acids all our enzymes, cells, etc., all our body structures, a lot of them are made out of proteins. The third example of a condensation polymerization is uh, the complex carbohydrates. So you have complex carbohydrates or sugars. So starch is one example of a complex carbohydrate and it's uh, made out of glucose monomers. So this is just a broad description. I'm just saying that the three types of different condensation polymers, one is polyester, the other one is polyamide and the third one is complex carbohydrate or starch. Uh, we're going to discuss all three in more detail separately now.